Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's gonna be a really fun one. I have a area of my house that I haven't reorganized or designed anything for since I moved in here. And that is on top of my chest of drawers. So I kind of have a bunch of my jewel readers sitting up there. I've got a plant, some decor, and it's really, really messy at the moment. So I can leave it no longer. I'm not gonna put it off anymore. I just wanted to find a piece to kind of pull it all together. So I guess that's how I normally organize space or rooms in my house. I kind of just go via a theme that will kind of trickle throughout the entire house, but then there's also bits and pieces that kind of are the main focus of an area and it just pulls all of the other elements together. So something that I really wanted to find was a beautiful brassy gold colored mirror. And I finally, finally found one after weeks and weeks of trawling through Facebook marketplace and waiting for the right one to come up. So a lady had her mum's vintage collection and she was clearing it out and I got the most beautiful mirror for $65, which is an absolute steal. So I can't wait to show you that piece and how I'm going to be styling it up. But I've also got some beautiful clear perspex boxes for my jewelry and I just got those from Kmart but a lot of my jewelry is just sitting out in the open and I find that it can kind of discolor or oxidize or something if it's left out. So now that I have a bunch of really beautiful pieces and I'm kind of refining my style a bit more, I wanted to really organize them so they're kind of just laid out in a bit more of a functional way I guess because at the moment it's a total mess. So let's get into that and we can reorganize that entire space together and really just make it a very beautiful display. So if you're new here, just a super quick reminder, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I do a bunch of lifestyle videos and DIYs and all of that kind of stuff on this channel. Let's go and have a look at the space and I can show you what I mean when I say it is a mess. This is the gorgeous vintage mirror. I've got to kind of aim it up at the ceiling. Otherwise you guys are just going to see all the clutter behind you, but this was $65 on Facebook Marketplace. It's quite heavy and it really just needs a little bit of a clean. It's got that gorgeous brass kind of goldy color and it is really, really beautiful. I thought this would be absolutely perfect for doing makeup in, taking selfies and just as a gorgeous piece of home decor. And given that it is vintage, it does have a couple of little imperfections, which I think makes an item more beautiful because it kind of has a life of its own. So this is the corner that I was talking about and at the moment, moment it is completely cluttered up with a whole bunch of stuff so I've got my hats I've got the perspex jewelry boxes that I was talking about so I just got uh, two of these from Kmart and they each have six compartments so that is really handy but as you can see all of my jewelry is just kind of really cluttered I got a couple of pieces from a recent Kmart haul that I want to style up and I just need to go through and clean this entire thing and reorganize the lot so let's get started started on this and I will empty everything off. We can give it a wipe down and then work out how we're going to reset the space. As a very quick side note, since we are looking at a ton of jewelry, if you were wondering where this beautiful necklace that I have on today is from, it is from this beautiful label called Wonderlust & Co. And they sent me two necklaces. So I'm going to grab out the other one later and I will show you, but it is just absolutely beautiful. So massive fan of these and kind of what inspired me to organize the jewelry. I saw you from across the room. When our eyes met, I never knew that I could feel this way, and it's kind of strange. Don't even know your name. So that is so much better now that it's all clean. It's amazing how much dust can kind of gather in a space when you're not pulling everything off and cleaning it, but so, so much better now. And the first piece that I am going to be styling will be the mirror. So I'm kind of thinking I want to, I'm not sure if I want to put it in the middle or off to one of the sides, but either way, it's kind of 
going to be able to lean, which is why I wanted one that had a bit of a flat bottom on it. And I think I will either put it in the middle and style everything around it, or I will pop it off to the side. And I might just grab some blue tack to put underneath the feet so that it doesn't slip when I'm opening and closing the drawers. The second piece I'm going to style up and keep up there, which I did have before, is this little board. So this one just has a ton of beautiful little images in it from an artist I found on Instagram called Flo. And I kind of just made it into a cool looking little picture hanger thing so I've given that a bit of a dust off and I'm just gonna pop that here in the corner it's kind of like a really nice square frame and I feel like that will kind of help set that side of the space especially because a lot of these white elements kind of have a little bit of a marbly kind of theme running through them so they need something to tie them back in together next item I've got is the two sets of perspex jewelry drawers so these are really affordable from my Kmart hauls so I will link that for you guys if you are interested in having a look but I love these and I think they're gonna make my jewelry look really really beautiful I was originally thinking of putting them side by side but I think I'm actually gonna stack them one on top of each other and kind of push them to the back where that beautiful painting is One of the bigger but more luscious items that I always love to have in my kind of styling inside are real plants. I think there's nothing better than real indoor plants. And this is one of the easiest ones, if not literally the easiest one you could possibly buy. It's called a ZZ plant or a Zanzibar gem. And I just got mine from Bunnings and it is going so healthy. So if you can see all of these tall green fronds, these are all new growth since I bought it. Now that I've popped the plant up there, I feel like it has so much more life. So I'm going to grab a couple of the smaller items and then we can go through my jewelry and put that away in the drawers because it is a complete mess in all of the different boxes that I've got. So these were two of the newer items that I had in my Kmart haul. So this one is a really cool looking marble obelisk kind of shape. And that one is just a really cool piece of home decor and it's really heavy as well, which I think is really nice around the house to have a bunch of different elements, whether it be really plush soft furnishings mixed with these kind of harder elements because the light hits them differently they have a different look and feel in the space and I just think it's really beautiful another theme in my home is heaps of gold so I really liked this cute gold jewelry tree and it also has the matching marble base to this piece of decor so I thought they would look really nice together styled up here Something else I really love doing is with hats and I've got some hooks up on the wall where I hang my hats up on. So I think that's a really, really cool idea to get them out of the cupboard, make sure they keep their shape and also just kind of make a little bit of a feature out of an item that kind of didn't cost you anything because it's not decor. It's just like your existing clothing collection, but on display. Another fun little piece of decor I have is this little stick figure guy. I just got him from Ikea. I think it was like $10 ages ago. I do want to paint this white, so I should have done that in my DIY when I had a bunch of spray paint and white paint, but I am doing another little painting exercise, I think next week when I pick something up from Bunnings. So I do have another fun DIY on the way for you guys, but I think I will paint this guy up when I grow and collect my paint as well. The last kind of marbly piece I have is this classic tray that I got from Kmart. I know you can get these from a ton of different brands as well, but I was lucky enough to pick up one of these when they first had it in. I think they were only about $15. Yet again, it's really weighty. It matches my other marble items. And I just think it's a really beautiful way to kind of lay out some of your jewelry and maybe sunglasses or accessories and things like that. So this is the old Kmart jewelry thing that I had and I just don't really like it anymore. I think that it just looks really messy and thought some of the necklaces were a little bit too long to be hanging on here as well. So it just kind of ended up looking really cluttered. Things were falling off and I just didn't really like it. So this is what I'm going to get rid of and I'm going to pop all of this away into those drawers. So I've just decided what I want to style up in that marble tray and that will be my watches. So I've got two watches. I've got this silver one from Cluse and this gold one from Daniel Wellington. 
So I'm going to pop those next to each other in the trays so I always have my options. I've also got this matching little bangle which came with my Daniel Wellington watch so I'll pop that there as well. And then I've just got a couple of pairs of glasses. So I've got some blue light glasses and two pairs of sunglasses. So I'm going to put all of those in a little row as well. Okay, that has worked out so well. I'm really, really happy with all the different elements and how this has come together. I think it is so much more organized, completely decluttered, and really, really just works for me in terms of functionality. These jewelry drawers are amazing. I'm gonna show you them in a second. Honestly, if you are struggling with your jewelry and it's just all over the place, I would definitely recommend these. They look so beautiful and everything is really laid out so easily. And because they're clear, I can literally see in them without even needing to open them. So really, really like those and just really happy with doing a little bit of an upgrade to this corner space and getting everything really beautifully organized again. So this is the tray where I've laid out a couple of the things. Like I said, I've got my two watches, this little bangle. These are a lip gloss and a perfume for when I'm running out the door. And then a couple of pairs of my sunglasses and blue light glasses all in that marble tray. Then we have the beautiful vintage mirror doing its thing there in the corner. And I just think that is absolutely beautiful and a real key piece in having this kind of all come together. I just love that. Then we've got my little guy that I was talking about. I also have some old decor that I added back in here, which is just a little jar with some cotton balls in it. And I have this vintage pin tray, which I've had this for years and I always just thought it looked really cool as like a little kind of unique piece of decor. Then I've got the plant styled up there and above this I've got my two hats. So I just have this beige one from Country Road and then my black kind of fedora one. And I think that the green just really gives it a pop in this corner space, which is really, really nice. And the next piece we've got is, of course, the marble obelisk and a little kind of ribbed candle that I had there. So I thought those would look really good together as well. And then we have, of course, the beautiful Perspex jewelry drawers. And I just think these are absolutely awesome. And if you pull them open, like you can see through the top of them, which I think looks really, really cool as well. But also, yeah, I can just slide this open and then I've got access to all of my beautiful jewelry. So I just think this is such a handy way to get organized and protect all of those items. And two was the perfect amount for me. If I just had one, it wouldn't have been enough. So I'm kind of happy with how those are stacked there. And then on top of that, I just placed this jewelry tree and hung some really cute cactus earrings on it that I've got from my friend's label. So that is everything. And I think that that is such a great little makeover for this corner of my room and just really gives it a lot of character. Now that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one and it's given you a little bit of motivation to jump onto your to-do list and tick off a bit of decluttering, organizing, and kind of finding those really beautiful moments that can be had in spaces around your house that are kind of really unassuming. You know, there's a ton of little places where you can create a moment by bringing in a piece like that beautiful vintage mirror to just give it an entirely new feel. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. If you go.